Here's your host, Alex Garrett. Let me start by saying uh, on the Alex Garrett Podcast Network that tomorrow I'll unveil the new edition of the montage at AM970 The Answer and uh, and Salem Media Group New York as part of my 10-year show and 10-year anniversary show. The certificate came in the mail. But I have a couple cool things I want to talk to you about today. Firstly, we didn't have him on the show yet. But I look forward to welcoming someone who created a app called Civic Click, which makes the process easier using modern AI. Now, we all have our faults and our gripes with AI, but listen to this. Machine learning and gamification technology to disrupt the traditional advocacy methods utilized most by most uh, technology vendors in the industry today. Basically, today is Congressional Startup Day, which is a day designed for entrepreneurs to connect with their lawmakers and express concerns. And I think that's pretty cool. Here's what Civic Click does. By the way, it's National Civility Month. Just throwing that out there. Civic Click reaches policymakers and their staff with more uh, effective AI-powered grassroots advocacy, advocacy technology and featuring a Civic Boost, which amplifies the reach and effectiveness of a campaign with their data and paper performance marketing solutions. And you can even let them manage your grassroots advocacy campaign from start to finish. And then connect with qualified lobbyists to influence legislators on the policy changes important to you and your organization. So it sounds like CivicClick, uh, founded by CEO Chaz Clevenger, Clevenger, is making the connection between the constituent and the congressman or congresswoman even better. By the way, I like the idea of Congressional Startup Day. It is important that the entrepreneurial spirit be recognized by Washington, is it not? And uh, and, and I got to follow up more on that with uh, Chaz. But today is Congressional Startup Day in Washington, D.C., August 17th, 2023. So check that out and check out CivicClick as well as they are making the connection between constituents and congressmen easier. They did not pay for this little boost for them. I just thought I, w- I would let you know. Secondly today, I got to tell you, as someone who does radio work almost every day, um, I got to say it's encouraging to know that while the disaster is happening in Maui, radio is not lost on the mind. In fact, according to Radio Inc., Radio has been Maui's only lifeline as wildfires rage. Media Inc. writes, In Hawaii's dark hour during the Lahaina wildfires, radio has shined through, proving itself as irreplaceable, providing information through the tragedy. You can find out Radio Inc.'s interview with Chuck Bergson, the president and CEO of Pacific Media Group, who runs six stations out on Maui. Look, any way we can get them help, in addition to disaster relief, but the radio, that's why you got to keep listening to the radio. That's why I believe radio is not dead. It's adapting. And that's why if you like the trades magazines and and you're in radio, I highly recommend you check out Radio Inc. um, As they also just featured one of our own, John Katsimatidis, on the cover in the fight for AM radio to stay in cars. So check that out as well. Uh, on Radio Inc.'s uh, magazine, Radio I.N.K. And then, finally, finally, we have a new sponsor aboard. They're an affiliate sponsor, albeit, but if you like to fill out services, surveys, and you want to make money fast, right, and you want to get your opinion out there, maybe even get paid for your opinion, Hey, take this survey. Get paid through Survey Junkie. That's right. My new sponsor is Survey Junkie, where your opinion matters. So why not get rewarded for sharing it? And and if I if I if I send one to you, uh, a note, 
hey, you've been selected, take the survey, get paid, get paid for your opinion. And they have a wide variety of different surveys on Survey Junkie as well, which I highly recommend you check out. Met them at the Affiliate Summit East, uh, Diana and team, at the Affiliate Summit East run by uh, run by one of the Affiliate Summit. And uh, it was a great event. It was crowded at Marriott Times Square, but something came out of it, and that is a new partnership this time with Survey Junkie. That's right. So I, I want you to sign up today and get paid to take uh, for your opinion right now. Just click the link in the bio uh, below. And then finally, see, I'm doing a lot of free free mentions, and that's fine, but... Haley Center has been great to us and has gotten us a, uh, at least one press credential, maybe more. But on Wednesday, September 6th, two-time Super Bowl champion Eli Manning will be the headliner at a forum at the Paley Center. And uh, I look forward to going. I hope you join me there as well. And uh, we'll see. We'll have to pay again and we'll have to see. But for now, that's my goal to meet the two-time New York Giants quarterback Eli Manning, who will actually discuss he and his brothers Peyton's Monday Night Football feature uh, on ESPN2, which takes place every Monday night. So this is right before the season literally kicks off. That's all for now. I'm Alex Garrett. Again tomorrow, 10-year radio montage coming down the pike, and uh, we'll see where things go from here. For now, I'm Alex Garrett, and there's been one leg up on a few different uh, fronts today. Thanks for listening.